Happy Saturday once again, my YouTube followers. Uh, today I'm here at St. Martin's Battery. I thought we'd do a night investigation this time. As you should remember, I've been here once before, but obviously that was at the crack of dawn. And we had a little small investigation, had a look round and toured the place. And obviously from here, I found the murder garage, which is on top of the hill over there. So join me today, we'll have a, a small adventure, have a walk through. It's currently around about 3.30 in the morning and we'll try a few spirit boxes in these small areas of the fort and we'll see if we can pick anything up. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy the video. Take care now. Right, I think what we'll do, we'll have a little wander through first, just to make sure there's nothing hiding in any corners as usual. And then we'll uh, make a start and do a small investigation and see if we can pick anything up here. I'm sure at some point or another there must have been some lost lives maybe. Or something that's happened here. As you can see up there, my camera's recording away quite happily. So hopefully that may catch something. We'll explore these areas. And obviously with these, we're unable to access for some reason. I'm not sure why. I don't know if they actually go to the underground tunnels. Which is a bit of a shame, but in any case, let's have a walk up and we'll try one of these small ante rooms up the top here and we'll see if we can pick anything up. Let's get set up. Let's just check up here just to make sure there's nothing hiding here. It's always worth a check just to make sure there's nothing hiding in the corners anywhere. Yeah, we look fine and clear. As you can see there's the gun mounts and Dover Harbour just down there with the ferry terminal. Okay, let's get back and check that. Second camera's still okay. And we'll make a start. Nice little creepy air of a night time. And I think we've discovered the tunnel entrance. And yes, this appears to be it. Unfortunately, it has a huge lock. I don't know if you can see down there. But there's certainly a deep tunnel going all the way down. Ah. That's unfortunate, that seems like a relatively new lock and mortar, just not sure. No, that's certainly new, but in any case we found the tunnels, maybe we come back here and do a little investigation to see. Okay, let's move inside.
Um, I thought what we'd do first, we'd um, come into one of these little chambers, which I guess are maybe sleeping quarters when this was first built and used by the army, or possibly just ammo storage area. But we'll have a go with the with me app and see if I can possibly get any voice communication of anybody that may have passed here or even was here at some point and maybe passed and just visits from time to time. So let's have a go and see what we can pick up today. I think we'll try the ghost tube app first just to see if we can get any possible voices that way. Can I ask, is anybody here that wishes to communicate with me today? Can you let me know if you worked here and you passed here? Certainly a bit of an eerie place over night time. And I'm quite pleased I found that tunnel entrance to the underground tunnels, but unfortunately it's been padlocked quite heavily. Which is a bit unfortunate because I would have hoping to get down and explore them. Maybe in the summer when it's a bit warm and we can explore the area a bit more, we may be able to find a second entrance somewhere that we can actually get into. I'm getting nothing on this ghost tube out. I was hoping something to pick up. So I think what we'll try, we'll try our normal app and we'll have a look. Let's put the Necrophonic on and see if we can pick anything up. Okay. Hopefully you can see this. Let me move my little camera down. And there we go. That's what the Necrophonic looks like. Um, obviously there we are down there, hopefully the GoPro can pick that up. Right, let's have a go. Can I ask, is there anybody here? Would you tell me your name? No. No? Why wouldn't you want to tell me your name? I'm here with respect. Can you give me something? Curtis. I heard Curtis then. Let me just stop it for a minute because I think what I can do is actually put the EMF meter out and we'll give that a go as well while we're actually doing this. It certainly won't hurt to have this going and see if anything can be seen. Let's put that down there in the corner and hopefully the camera can pick that up. Let's just move that a little. Let's just bring that down and hopefully that will see. That will see it. We'll zoom in a little. Let's just get this set up. Yep, and there we go. Hopefully that's picking it up clearly. And we'll see if we can get anything. Okay, let's try again. Okay, can I ask again please, is there anybody in this fault that wishes to communicate with me? I'm here with great respect. I'm not here to mock you or ridicule you. Is there anybody in them tunnels? I have a meter here with me. If you're able to, could you get the lights to move? No. Certainly like saying no to me. 
Would anybody here, or is there anybody here that wishes just to say something? Just give me a name. Show me you're here. Leave. Why would you like me to leave? Am I disrespecting you? There's something there, I didn't quite pick that up. Hopefully I can in the editing. I think what we could do, we'll leave this going for a little while. We'll take a walk around. I'm getting a lot of leaves on this necrophonic app. Let's have a walk around. We'll leave this camera in here going and keep it looking at that EMF. Hopefully it'll pick some movement up while I'm having a walk around. So that sounds freaky. Let's put the light on. And I think we'll might be a bit too bright. And we'll keep that going. Certainly some orbs in that screen, I can see that. Okay. Let's have a little wander. Okay. Let's bring the little screen up so I can see where I'm going. see in the distance but there's Dover Harbour very pretty of a night time okay can I ask is there anybody here that wishes to communicate with me today Can you either speak to me or show yourself in shadow form? Can you approach my second camera that's on and maybe move the EMF lights while I'm not in the room? some noise, possibly some movement. Someone's had some fireworks down here. Hopefully you're picking it up and keep listening. Just in case we get anything. So as we said, there's a tunnel entrance, and I certainly know there's miles of underground tunnels here. Let's get up to the door and we'll have a go at maybe some voice communication in there. Okay, can I ask, is there anybody in these tunnels? Is there anyone that lost their lives in these tunnels? Can you show yourself? Yeah. Could you show me that you're here? I'm here with respect. Well. 
You can certainly see that tunnel goes down and bends to the right. I imagine it goes quite deep. I'm certainly going to try and get in here in the summer at some point, see if I can get that lock off. Hopefully that camera's possibly picking a light up. Hopefully the EMF's done something. Let's have a look through some of these other little rooms. Bit of movement down there. Oh, that was rude. Someone just said, fuck. How rude. Can I ask, is there anybody in this area that wishes to communicate with me? You're certainly happy to tell me to leave, but that's about all you can say. Give me a name. Did you die here? I virtually think every word is leave or every other word. Let's have a go in, I think what we'll do, we'll do night vision and see what we can get out of that. Turn the main light off. Let's just turn the cam, bear with me, I'm gonna stop recording so I can put it in night vision. Okay, we're in full night vision now. Can I ask, is there anybody here that wishes to communicate with me today? Could you give me some sign who you are? Could you maybe walk past the entrance? Just to show me that you're here? No. What is it we use? Why don't you want to talk to me? It's only very quiet. I'm not sure you can see much, because obviously... There's my second camera, we're calling away quite happily. Hopefully it's caught something today. Does anyone wish to say anything to me? Can you communicate in any way? There's a lot of communication going on with this necrophonic, but I just can't make too much out. Possibly because I'm trying to keep an eye out for any possible shadow figures. So really the only opportunity I get is during editing. But hopefully you've picked something up this house if you've been listening closely. I would suggest headphones because obviously you'll pick more up through that. They certainly like to say leave. Let's put my main light on and we'll have a... Okay, we'll walk to the end of the... ...battery and... ...have a look up there and see if there's anything to see. There's three gun emplacements, they're all virtually identical to one another. Yeah. 
and obviously hoped you can see along there. That's my second camera point. stop this now we're not catching much on it we'll have a look through editing okay this is the small guard room where the soldiers obviously would be able to look out at sea and obviously shoot anything that's approaching not too much to see in here I think what we'll do we'll take it back to normal and get off the night vision and see if we can pick anything up with normal light okay I think we'll wander our way out not too much in here we'll just have another quick look Obviously, I'm not sure if you can see that it's Dover Harbour down there. And obviously, that's where the soldiers could shoot anything that's approaching or coming up the hill from the harbour. Let's walk back down through the battery and see if we can pick anything up visually. Because obviously, the best thing to do is just explore through and hopefully maybe catch something but he's hiding it south somewhere in the shadows obviously up there is the access to the murder garage certainly a lovely place you'd think it would be quite freaky being here at this time of the morning but for some strange reason I just don't seem to be affected by any of it okay we'll have a walk through this last gun emplacement just to check there's nothing here as you can see exactly identical to the rest Okay, let's walk back down to the second camera. There's a real shame about that tunnel. There's no access into it. It'd be good to see something come up through that door. Just a nice shadow figure would be nice. Nothing too much. Hopefully you're keeping a look out just in case anything shows it south and I haven't spotted it. see up there is the way back to the road
Okay, I'm not sure if that camera picked anything up, but hopefully it did while I've been having a walk through. Let's turn the light off. I think what I might try before we go, I think we'll possibly stand here with minimal lights. Let's see if we can pick anything. So there's no lights on currently. Just my GoPro light, which I can cover up. Let's put this down on the floor. Aim it towards that door and we'll maybe do a little call out. We could try the necrophonic once more with no lighting. And maybe we could pick something up in darkness. Maybe they'll be a bit more happier to communicate with me. Let's give it a go. Let's just put the torch on there. And we'll have a start. Okay, I'm in darkness now. Is there anybody here that wishes to communicate with me? I have no visible light. I'm on my own in this place. Can you give me some sign that you're here? Could you maybe light the lights up on the EMF meter for me? Give me something. Certainly creepy in here on your own with uh, no lighting. Can anybody show themselves at the door? Maybe come into this room. Maybe the camera could pick you up. I think what we'll do, we'll try a bit of night vision. That might help. Okay, I've got the night vision on now. I'll turn all the lights off. Bear with me. Okay, I'm in complete darkness now. Is there anybody here that wishes to communicate with me? Maybe give me a sign. Can anybody walk past the door? Yes, well please do so. I'm going to stand here in quietness for a few minutes. I would welcome anything that wants to appear. Show themselves to me. Okay, let's go quiet for a couple of minutes and see if we can see anything. Let's put some lights back on and we'll uh, and see there's not much going on here. Let's stop this necrophonic and uh, put everything back to standard. Okay. So we never know, it's possibly um, nothing picked up. 
Or maybe we pick something up. I don't know. Why isn't this turned off? That's better. Let's get rid of that. Put the phone back. And I think what we'll do, we'll start finishing off and work our way back to the car. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing major picked up today, but you never know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's put all the lights back on. We'll grab the EMF meter. We don't need that now. Let's turn the night vision off. Okay. Right, that's that off. And then what we'll do, we'll wander our way back to the car. One last look through. See if there's anything to see. Okay, so once again, thank you for joining me today. I'm hoping we pick something up with a little walk around. Obviously, who knows if this has anybody that passed here or if anything happened during the, the war and someone lost their life. But obviously you just take that gamble and just hope that you can pick something up or possibly communicate with something that's passed. But in any case, it was a nice little explore. It's always nice to get out in the fresh air of night. And obviously, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please just leave a like or leave a comment obviously in the comment section and thank you for watching and i'll look forward to doing the next video for you have a nice weekend and please try to enjoy the next week ahead and i'll see you again on the journeyman channel all the best now take care of yourselves